Hello guys, I'm back from dinner and um, also back to SpongeBob SquarePants Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. Whoops, and uh, this is a puzzle game that we have to hurry for as you can see. It is rather easy and all we have to do is, <laughs> I almost said ground pound, but all we have to do is match up these tiles to the pitcher like so and then we win and this is a hint oh yeah <laughs> and this is a hint to um where the uh, treasure will be and uh this is how we find the treasure after this darn loading screen will come anyways i just got finished breeding the uh, toters in and it is freezing outside um so my nose is a bit sniffly, but this music is really, really weird. Um, I'll be quiet so you can listen to it. <laughs> Whoa, that's cool. So anyways, here's the treasure. It's very easy. And that music is rather creepy. But we find our first treasure, the sock. Dutchman sock. Dutchman's dining sock, I guess. And now we move on to our, the next part of the game. I can't remember how many treasures there are exactly, but I don't think it's more than 10. I think it's, I can't remember. <laughs> Oh, no. environment. The time has come for you to join my ghostly crew. No use fighting it. Your fate's been decided. Now looky here what I got for you. That's right. Watch the little sticky. <laughs> no. Gary, where are you, boy? Gary! Why did you take Gary, Mr. Dutchman? Why? 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 No one makes my best friends into pirates, and I mean no one! No one does. So let's head out here and see... <laughs> the door pushed us back. Let's see our next assignments. I, I think we're going downtown next, but I cannot be too sure. I'm pretty sure, though. And uh, downtown is probably my least favorite area. Um... But we have to get it over with. Hello, SpongeBob. So nice of you to finally join us. Squidward! Am I glad to see you? You won't believe what just happened to me and Gary. I don't have time for another one of your ridiculous tales. Mr. Krabs wants us to get to the Krusty Krab right away so he can tell us some important news. Important news? Maybe Mr. Krabs is going to announce the employee of the month. What are we waiting for? It's me. You just keep chattering away, and I'll see you there when you're done. So that's how it is. Trying to hear the news before me, eh? Well, let's see who can get to the Krusty Krab first. Ah, sure. Whatever. <laughs> I wonder what would happen if we lost. Anyways, this is a lot like uh, how it is in uh, the TV show. Like that one episode where they're trying... It. That doesn't work. That one episode in that TV show when they're trying to uh, race for the Employee of the Month award to get it first, and that was so funny. And that is why I love this game because it feels like I'm right in the movie. So here we are back at the Krusty Krab, and uh, it looks like this is the time when we actually do something here. Once again, we see that more legs doesn't mean more speed. <laughs> and once again, we see that more holes in your head means less stays inside of it. All right, you two, stop your jabbering. I've got some difficult news to tell you. Business has been very slow lately, so I'm going to shut down the Krusty Krab until it picks up again. Sh shut down the Krusty Krab? I think I'm going to faint. You boys can hang around here or go home, but I can't pay you one way or the other. Sorry. Well, isn't that just great? 
I'm going home to think of some ways to pay the bills. So long, SpongeBob. You know, I've always wondered how Squidward was able to live because he gets paid so little and stuff. And he should really be fired and he's always getting beat up. Anyways, back to the game. No change. And the good thing about this game <laughs> is also that the voice actors, I think they are original. Jeepers, if Krabs, they aren't, they sound extremely good. No one seems interested in going out anymore. They think it's too much trouble to leave home. Too bad we can't move the Krusty Krab into their homes. SpongeBob, that's it. We'll do just that. Yeah. What is that? Oh, you want to move the Krusty Krab? <laughs> Look how much Mr. Krab is breathing. Never mind that. I'm going downtown to set things up. You take this bus ticket. Oh, he stopped breathing. As soon as you can. Darn it. Well, we got our first bus ticket to go downtown, so that is where we will be heading next. Jump. He does. The animation for SpongeBob looks like the long jump from Mario. Here, I'll show you next time. Uh, I'm gonna be also quiet for all the cutscenes because um, it's really fun to watch them and I don't like ruining them for the whole thing you know what I'm saying right anyway long jump long jump see what did I tell you oh that's the right one <laughs> and I'm probably gonna be making a montage scene for so this, this is next downtown part. bikini bottom how will I ever find Mr. Krabs in such a huge place where the streets never end and the buildings just go on and on and on? <laughs> Yoo-hoo! SpongeBob over here! Hello, Mr. Krabs. Glad you finally made it, lad. Between you and me and this here cart, there's no stopping us now. Just what exactly is your plan, Mr. Krabs? It's just like you said, SpongeBob. If no one wants to leave home, then we bring the Krusty Krab to them. I'm talking about food delivery. I'll put out a bag filled with patties whenever enough orders come in. You need to grab the bag and get to all our customers before it's too late. There might even be some tip money in it for you. This sounds like fun, Mr. Krab. Tip money Great. that I can't use. This delivery is to a single location, 17 Seashell Street. Go to Seashell Street, then look for the 17 on the building, then drop off the food at the door. Our food is very popular, so watch out for rough characters who might try to take it from you. Now go to it, lad! Now, this is my very- get out of the way. This is my very first montage scene ever, so... Uh, without further ado, I give you my first montage scene. Here we go.
for the next delivery, Mr. Krabs. This delivery is a little trickier. There's a building under construction nearby, and it's full of very hungry workers. So that was the first montage. And now what we have to do is meet Mr. Krabs at the instruction site. Let's try and get some of these useless coins up here. So you can see the awesome sound effects and hear them as well. <laughs> so here we go. I think this is the way. Please be the way. Ah, loading. Whew. The loading scenes are really hard to do. Find the two workers who placed the order. Some of the other workers might try to take the food from you. Order up! Okay. Uh oh, I see Patrick. That means I cannot. Uh oh. No, 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 no. I cannot do a new montage now. I cannot. Oh gosh. Okay. So I am going to go talk over to uh, Patrick. And then we can find the people who ordered that food. No, wait, never mind. I changed my mind. We are going to go this way first because I think this is where the uh, people who ordered their food is located. The person who ordered their food is located. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, we got a tip. And this part can get a little bit tricky. And... Whoa, that was close. Okay, now there's just one more person. Got him. And this should be pretty easy. Because there are no obstacles for us to avoid. Oh, uh, come on. Okay, good. <laughs> to the foreman. Hey, Lynn, what's a foreman? <laughs> and if you got that reference... Props to you. Let's go. Jump, 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 jump. We did it. Delivery complete. But first, get the coins and talk to Patrick. Oh, we hit him. I thought we got hit. <laughs> Hello, Patrick. Halt, villain! Don't try to get away. For I am Barnacle Boy, Super Sidekick! You really had me going there for a minute, Patrick! <laughs> Where did you get that great costume? I mailed in 450 kelp bar wrappers and got both official costumes from the Mermaid Man show! Oh, you got both costumes? Oh, can I be Mermaid Man? Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please! Oh, gee, I'd really like to, but I've been so hungry since I ran out of kelp bars. If only I had something yummy to eat. Aww. Okay, so that means gotta get food for Patrick. Gotta get some food for Patrick. Another bag of delicious Krabby Patties served up hot. Who wants a slice of this cakewalk now? This delivery won't be easy at all. Three different parties called from the high rise apartments. Oh gosh. The high rise apartments. That's one of the highlights of the game because it is so difficult to navigate through. But I can do it. Krabby Patties? I'm saved! Now we can play Mermaid Man for as long as we want! I put your costume in that tent over there, SpongeBob! Watch out, evil! Here we come! Evil. We have the Mermaid Man costume, let's just try it out. Okay, Y button. Awesome music! Okay, I admit, this is not my favorite music, but it is pretty cool. And it is this suit is really good for taking out enemies really fast. But... Wait, are there letters here? There better not be letters here. Let me just check. Shoot the bolts. Oh gosh. Yeah, there are. So I guess I'm going to have to... Uh... Oh, 
I guess I'm going to have to get through this place so I can get the letters. Wow, SpongeBob, you're walking incredibly slow. Yeah, so I guess that's why we got the uh, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. I mean, <laughs> Mermaid Man costumes, because we're gonna need them. Okay, good. Now these are fully risen, and we can jump. Jump and get our new letter. Oh, no! Ow. Darn it. You nasty wrecking ball. I've never gotten hit by that thing before in the past. So it's kind of weird why I actually did get hit. Well, there's our first letter. And uh, darn it, here's where the platforming gets a little bit difficult. Oh gosh. I don't... I can't remember what, how I'm supposed to get up there. But I'm supposed to get up there somehow, and I hope it won't be very hard to do. Okay, okay, got up there, and come on, SpongeBob, get moving. Okay, yes, we can get up there, and I don't think we can jump on that building. Wait, wait, wait. I see, I see a letter. I see a letter. Um, are there more letters here? Does not look like it. Can't be too sure though. No, darn it. Okay, yeah, we moved that thing onto the pressure plate already. No, not gonna go that way. Okay, yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to be going back this way. Oh yeah, yeah, we have to do that. And this really reminds me of that Spider-Man now. Oh no! Yeah, it reminds me of Spider-Man. Okay, I'll give you a shout out. Mafia Gaming 101 Spider-Man LP. That's what it reminds me of. So go check Mafia Gaming 101. Huh. Okay. Now we have to jump and there we go. And don't crush us. Uh, how do we do this one? Okay, same way. Run it. Okay. It's cool how just a little twitch movement can affect your aiming so much. Die. Die. Headshot. Ugh, oh, come on. <laughs> well, that's a weak fish. And SPO. And I think we are all done with the letters of this area. So, I'm going to be heading to the high rises. High rise this way. How convenient. address is apartment 9. I wrote down the other two addresses for you. Make sure to visit both buildings. Good luck! So now, I'm gonna end this episode off here because it has taken uh, longer than usual and I want to keep it down to a minimum so you guys don't get viewer fatigue. And, uh, so goodbye guys. I hope you enjoy the rest of this uh, LP and uh, look forward to the next episode. Um, Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.